the life of a lotus flower, told along a 13 metre scroll. Flowers on a River was painted by the artist Bada Shanren when he was 72 years old. Either as a person or as his technique in painting, all mature. And this is really the painting used the lotus, used the landscape, used the orchid, really to state his life journey. Dating back to 1697, it's the centerpiece of this exhibit. I think the most important piece is the Bada. Mm -hmm. Yes, because that one is really famous. I even didn't say that before in China, but I saw it here. I was like, oh my God, it's amazing. Flowers on a River is on display at the China Institute Gallery, New York. It's the only museum dedicated exclusively to Chinese artwork. These flower and bird paintings are from some of the genre's most prominent artists over a span of around 500 years. Female artists began to blossom during this period. This collection features the work of eight women that excelled in this field. It is really reflect the beauty of nature and very much uh, interweaved with our philosophy and the life wisdom. So that is a much beloved art form. Curators say this exhibition has been in the works since 2017. On display here are more than 100 pieces of art by over 50 artists. It's the first collection to be sent from China to the US since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The exhibition comprises of pieces from the Tianjin and Changzhou museums. Curators say this genre of artwork is culturally significant. The four plants and lotus flower in Chinese art represent nobleness and purity. We want to convey the spirit of Chinese culture to overseas audiences through Chinese calligraphy and painting artwork. This exhibition will be open in New York until June, before moving to a museum in California for three months this winter. Flowers on a River hasn't left China in a decade. Curators here say they're grateful it's finally made its way to the shores of the US. William Denslow, CGTN, New York.